Today we're going to strengthen the whole of our body so you'll feel fitter, stronger and healthier. And of course, we're going to burn some calories and lose some weight at the same time. However, there is a twist. We're going to take it a little easier on this one. So if you class yourself as a beginner, if you've been doing arm to exercises and you want to increase the intensity, or you've been out of exercise for a while and just want to ease yourself into a full body workout, then these exercises are for you. You can lose weight by just walking to the shops, but today we're going to make it fun and healthy. By the end of this workout, you should really feel vitalized. As far as reps and sets are concerned, I'd like you to try and do three sets of 15 reps. But if you can't do that yet, then just do as many as you can and build up to it. Right, the first exercise we're going to do is called a step up. This exercise is going to really help hit our leg muscles and glutes. And it's also going to give us a good cardiovascular workout too. Okay guys, I'm now going to show you a fantastic exercise to work our legs and our cardio. So we're really going to get those lungs working too. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stepper here. I'm going to step up and then back down again with the same leg. Step up and then back down again. Okay, so when I start this, I'm going to take a deep breath in and then out. In and out. Now, I'm going to aim to do as many as I can on this leg. And then say if I do 10, I'm then going to have a little rest and then start again on this leg, okay? You don't have to rest for very long, just as long as it takes to get your breath back. So, for example, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then I change legs. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to keep my chest high and my shoulders back. I'm going to feel a real burn in my legs here and it's really gonna give me a good cardiovascular workout. So my lungs are gonna be puffing out and I'm also gonna be sweating a little bit, but that's absolutely fine, it's exactly what we want, okay? So give this exercise a go and see how it feels. Okay guys, let's work out our chest muscles. And the way we're gonna do this is by doing a wall push up. We're actually gonna work our chest, shoulders and triceps. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, I'm gonna approach the wall and I'm just taking a step back. I'm gonna have my hands placed in the wall now, I'm gonna have around about a 45 degree angle from my rib cage with from my elbow. And I'm gonna come up onto my tiptoes, okay? I need to make sure I have a nice high chest and shoulders back, and I need to have good posture at all times. And beware of my breathing here. So I'm gonna breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Okay, so key things here is make sure your elbow is 45 degree angle from your rib cage, your chest is high, your shoulders are back, and you just come up onto your tiptoes a little bit as you're going down, and make sure your breathing is always good, okay? So when I'm going down, I'm gonna breathe in, and when I push out, I'm gonna breathe out. You might feel a slight burn around your shoulders and your chest, but this is fine as we are working these muscles out. So this is supposed to happen. So I want you to try and do around about 10 to 15 reps if you can. Don't worry if you can't, and if you can do more, that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so get on the exercise and let's see how it feels. Lots of men focus on their quads or glutes, but forget to work their hamstrings. It's very important to work your hamstrings to prevent injury. So let's get on and do some leg curls. All right guys, let's work out our hamstrings. Now this is one of the biggest muscles in the body here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a nice, firm, stable chair. I have a big chest, I'm gonna bring my shoulders back and I'm just gonna lift my heel straight up towards the ceiling while bending this knee here and really squeezing at the top. That's it, like that. Really feel that muscle squeeze. Now in terms of my breathing, I'm gonna breathe in at the beginning and then out and squeeze right at the top. Once I've done that, I'm gonna change leg. And I can already feel it burning right down here, and that's a good sign. So I want you guys to try and do three sets of 15 reps if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it, just do as many as you can. So, go on that exercise and let us know how it feels. Okay, so let's move on to some pullovers. This is a fantastic exercise to hit the back, which is very important to maintain good posture and avoid back injuries. Okay guys, so let's get into position. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab my two water bottles here. And then I'm gonna have a nice lie down. 
scooch my bum. Have a little light down here. Okay, now I'm going to bring my heels back to my bum. I'm going to have my lower back nicely firm on the floor so I can't get my hand underneath. I'm going to lie my head back so it's nice and supported. Bring my hands up in the air. Have the bottles close together. And I'm just going to bring it straight back behind me. And breathe in. And then breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And I can really feel it right on my lats, right here. And you're also going to feel it on your arms too, because you're going to have a lot of tension holding these water bottles up. So we're just going to bring them back. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Once you're done, place your water bottles to the side. And you really want to try and get around about 10 to 15 reps out of this and try and do three sets. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Just do what you can and concentrate on feeling the exercise. Don't go too fast. Again, don't go too slow. Just really feel it. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, let's get to it and see how you feel. Now let's do some calf raises. Calf raises are good to build up the leg muscles, which you need if you're reaching something from the top shelf. Another reason to do calf raises is pure vanity. So, if you want a nice round of physique and good symmetry, it's a good idea to work all the muscle groups. Okay guys, so we're gonna work the calf muscle, which is this muscle here. Now a lot of us are quite well developed on the quads, but we don't have much on the calf. So I've got a great exercise for you to work on this. So what I'm gonna do is get myself a nice stable chair here. I'm just gonna have a nice big chest, shoulders back, put my hands on here, make sure my feet are around about hip width apart, and I'm just gonna tiptoe up, and then come back down again. Now I'm gonna breathe in, and then breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Now don't worry if you feel a slight burning sensation here, that's what we want, it means you're really working that muscle. Now what I want you to do is try and do 10 to 15 reps of three sets, but if you can't do that, no problem at all, just do as many as you can. So get on that exercise and see how it feels. Now we're going to move on to a really fun exercise for our core and cardio. This might remind you of childhood as we're going to use a hula hoop to work our core. We're going to do this by trying to keep up the hula hoop as long as possible. If you don't have a hula hoop, we can do this by simply doing some hip rotations which will still work the same areas but isn't as much fun. Yes guys, I have a hula hoop. Now that's because I want to add a little bit of fun back into our workout. Now this is absolutely great for a full body workout, but it's also going to feel it in your core, feel it in your abs, and you're going to feel it in your back. Now, some of you might remember how to use this, but if you don't, I'm going to show you now. So the first thing I do is get a nice shoulder width apart stance so I have a nice stable base. Then I get this hula hoop and I'm going to flip it right round, okay? So get some speed on this bad boy. Here we go. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so I'm going to keep it going up by uh, keep my hips rotating around. And I'm going to try and do this for a number of seconds. I'm going to try this for maybe 10, 15, even 30 seconds. See how long I can go for. Once I get tired here, I'm going to pause. Give myself a little bit of a rest. One, two, three. When I feel good again, I'm going to go the other way. Right round. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to keep this up. It's pretty hard. I can feel my abs working. I can feel my back working. Even feel my legs working. And there you go. Right down there. Okay, so see if you can do better than me. But what I did do for this whole exercise is I breathed right through the very thing. So I was breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. So here we go. And when I've had enough, I'm just going to stop and pause, give myself a few seconds, reset, and go the other way. Now, don't worry if you don't have a hula hoop, because you can do this without it. So I'm just put my hula hoop down there, and we're going to do it just my hips, okay? So we're going to do some hip rotations. You can have your hands on your hips, hands out here, wherever you want. And we're going to go around, and we're going to go around the other way too, okay? And we're going to have our hands on the hips, always breathing. Chest up high, shoulders back, and back around the other way. Okay, now you're gonna feel it here, and on your back, and even on your legs. So, give it a try, have some fun with it. You know, it's a good laugh, and see how you feel. All right, guys, so I know that was a hard workout, but you've done great. Now, every time you come back to this workout, keep on improving, keep on pushing yourself. For example, if you've done 10 reps, try 11. If you do 15, that's great. 
try and do more in terms of another set. So we do one set of 15, then we can try for another set of 15. So it doesn't matter if we do one set of 15 and then do a second set of 10. It does not matter. It means you're trying, you're improving because you've done more than you did last time. So all these things are actually great for our body. We're going to build muscle endurance, we're going to build strength, and we're going to lose a little bit of body weight too.